Hello and welcome, I'm Jitsudo from the Payday 2 Wiki and today I'm gonna introduce you in the usage of the Payday 2 Map Viewer. So first things first, you're gonna head over to this website and from there you're gonna go click on Downloads and you're gonna download the Payday 2 Map Viewer and the Payday 2 Bundle Tool. You're gonna need both because the Bundle Tool is required to run the Map Viewer. So, once you've downloaded those, which you already have, you're gonna extract them, which you already have as well. So you're gonna head over to the bundle tool and you're gonna mark the bundle axia, the paths, the hash and the extensions and you're gonna open up a second window and you're gonna head up to Steam, Steam Apps Common, Payday 2 and Assets. You're just gonna drop those files in here and you're gonna go one folder back, you hold down shift and right click on Assets and you're gonna start open, uh, where is it? command window here. So you're gonna have a command window. Sorry my uh, backstage is replaced by uh, weird signs but that's not um, gonna happen on your machine. So uh, once you're over here you're gonna go back to assets and I'm just scrolling down to let's show what the hell I'm doing. Uh, I'm gonna type in payday2 bundle.exe and I'm gonna make space minus extract underline all. I'm gonna need to extract all of those files to actually um, set the, the folder structure for the map viewer. If all files aren't present it's not gonna work properly. So we're gonna press OK and it's gonna do stuff. It's gonna do a lot of stuff and it's gonna take quite a while so this might take up to 50 minutes. I've already done it so I'm gonna skip it. So once it's done, it's closing usually, and you're gonna get an extract folder, which has all the files in. Okay, this one does not, but I have my copy. Here is it. So this is all there is. Once this is done, you can just let me. You can remove those files again from this folder, unless you. Uh, want to do it again because if there's an update you might want to extract everything again because you won't see the changes made if you're not gonna unextract them once again so I'm going back to my copy and we're gonna go back to the map viewer so here's the first thing you're not gonna start it you're gonna open up the readme file and you find a link this link gets you to uh, slim dx which is if I remember right, is a render engine which you are gonna need for the map viewer. You have to install this first, and after that is done, you're just gonna head back to the folder and you're gonna execute the payday map access. So once that's done, it's gonna ask you to select the folder. This folder that it wants you to select is the extract folder we just created. I'm just gonna go there right now. I've just put it on a different drive. So I'm pressing OK. Now it wants me to select the world, which is in levels in the radius, and here are the levels. And the bane are the ones that bane contracts. Flat, so flat, safe house is safe house. Watchdog Firedox and escapes is and frame frame is very, very self-explanatory. However, Alex Must Die is actually the rats scenario, and welcome to the jungle is big oil. That's the only thing weird here. Just remember that and you're good to go. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna open Firestore. This is pretty nice. I'm gonna open stage one. I select the world world and I press open. Now it is gonna come up window up with a uh, read axiom. It's gonna want me to select the sub engine. This you cannot do if you have not installed the Slim DX. So select it and you can choose. I'm just gonna put up my resolution a bit. Oh, let's say yes, uh, 120p is okay. So I'm pressing OK, and it starts up. Just gonna take a moment. Over here, you're gonna see what a file failed to load. This happens. This is all still a bit of work in progress, but uh, yeah, don't worry about it. Just go back. So once this is loaded, you're not gonna see much because the camera is either pointed up or down. I'm not quite sure. Anyways. You're gonna go with your mouse inside this and you're gonna hold the right button down and you drag around. That's how you change your angle. 
Now, how to move. You're moving with the WASD keys on your keyboard. But uh, be careful because you, if, if you're hitting Q, you're gonna quit the tool. Yeah, uh, unless you really want to quit, then press Q. So, um, you can also press R for, yeah, it should toggle a wireframe mode. It's just a little bit buggy, at least on my PC. Might be my fault. However, if you press R, you can switch between modes, which is quite useful. And you can fly through everything. So, however, there's four hangers, and I think all four have loaded in this case. Um, normally, uh, it might not load all randomized things at once, it just loads a session and whatever randomizer variable it has, it will load. Oh, that's interesting. So for now, uh, everything as you see is pretty weird colored, but it still has some advantages to being all white because you wouldn't see very much. But it's fully functional and that's really what counts can go everywhere up and down and it's really really nice and yeah I just would say have fun it's pretty cool and that's about it this is how you run the payday 2 map for I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I didn't make any mistakes this time <laughs> so see you next time